All right, so we're talking about the creed, uh, the, the Apostles' Creed, where Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate. It's where we're picking up, and that's almost sort of weird because we skipped basically his whole ministry. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and we hop right over all of the miracles, all of the healing, the sick people, the casting out the demons, the water into wine, the walking on the water. None of those things make the creed. The creed talks about, though, the important stuff. And it's not that those miracles aren't important but they're not important for you. See, Jesus healed a bunch of people and these things were written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, and by believing you may have life in his name. And that's great, but that Jesus healed some people 2000 years ago doesn't actually change your life. The creed are the things that are for you. Uh, when, When we look at the second article of the creed, all the things of the son of God, the second person of the Trinity, who would be Jesus, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary for you. God became man for you. And he suffered under Pontius Pilate for you. Here he's bearing the sins of the world for you, your sins and Pilate's sins too. It's actually the important thing to pay attention to when we actually look at suffered under Pontius Pilate because, well, Pilate's, at least in some of the gospels, kind of a relatable guy. Like he, he, at least to read it, sort of feels trapped by the situation, even seems to sort of sympathize with Jesus and try to free him, but he gets trapped by those awful, awful other people that aren't Pilate. Pilate totally meant good. Really, this this was an accident. This is how we always tell the story, though. We are always the hero of our own story. When we When we tell a story to our friends, we always tell it with our intentions guiding our actions instead of simply, this is the stuff that broke when I was there. That's my fault. Maybe I didn't want it to, but Yeah, so we are given the creed to jump right over what Pilate's thoughts were, what his intentions were, what he meant to do, and we get to what happened. Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, and that was for Pontius Pilate, so that justification, so that hope, so that comfort wouldn't be rooted in sort of your good intentions outweighing the bad consequences of your behavior, because at the end of the day, all of us have to tell that story, Lord these are the things that I meant for to happen. These are the things that I intended. And this is not what I intended, but this is absolutely what happened. And at the end of the day, you can mean the best. You can have the very best of intentions, but people still get hurt by our sins. Sin breaks stuff. So I can look at it and it's not simply try and excuse my behavior by meaning for good, but saying, Lord, whether or not I had the best of intentions, somebody got hurt because of me. Forgive me because that's not okay. The issue isn't how I feel about it, but that somebody got hurt. Help them forgive me. Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate for that, to forgive those sins, the ones that you don't want to try and explain away to God by your good intentions, but rather have covered by the blood of Jesus. For your best of intentions and sins, Jesus died for you. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified for you, for Pilate, for all justification, hope, comfort. It's its found in this, this absolute action so that you can set aside Pilate's intentions right along with yours and find them covered by a God who would become man to take your sins and my sins and all of the world's sins and die for them. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.